uh, Parkinson's disease is uh, the second most common of the neurodegenerative disorders uh, that affects uh, not only the motor function in the early stages, but also affects in the later stages of the disease the way uh, people think um, and, and communicate uh, with their family members. It has a significant impact on the person suffering from the disease, uh, but also a significant impact on the family um, and friends of the, of the person suffering. Um, it's really important and I thank you very much for uh, providing funds um, to the Parkinson Society to, to support this really important research uh, in Canada. Um, in terms of what I do, my project looks at uh, cognitive impairment and thinking changes associated with Parkinson's disease. And uh, we have some medications uh, available that can help the same way that the, the dopamine-based uh, medications like levodopa help the motor symptoms. We have medications that can help the thinking changes associated with Parkinson's disease. And my research is to try to understand why some people have a good response to the medications and why some people have side effects or can't tolerate the medications. Um, or alternatively, why people don't respond even though they tolerate the medications. Uh, I'm using uh, tools um, in the laboratory that uh, looks at brain function. These are called brain imaging uh, methods. Uh, one method is called SPECT. Um, and this looks at blood flow to the brain. Um, we're also looking at uh, genetics and um, trying to understand how an, a person's genetic background can influence the, the way they respond to a drug um, or alternatively the way they have side effects to a drug. And the goal is to try to improve on the current treatments that we have and also to develop new treatments that maximize the response and minimize the side effects. And that's what my research is all about. Um, and we're focusing on, uh, once again, the cognitive changes and thinking changes associated with Parkinson's disease.